Hey YouTube Gundam here, welcome to World of Warships. You're thinking, what? World of Warships? Apparently, yeah, this is still the closed beta test. But, if you, oh, I don't know, buy one of those pre-order ships, you gain access. Now, this is my Samson. I'm saving it until I get the next ship in the line. I have a St. Louis. She is upgraded. <coughs> I'm not sure if it's completely. And, yeah, that is a lot of guns. And then the same number on the other side as well. <coughs> so that's a destroyer and a cruiser for the Americans. What else do I have for the Americans? Oh, I don't know. One of those. The Langley. And I've got two torpedoes and one fighter squadron. Now, this is the Sims. This is one of those pre-order bundles. Well, pre-order ships, rather, not bundled. But I got the bundle, so I got all three. This is the Sims. Four guns, two torpedo launchers, and several torpedoes in each. You can see there's four of them in each one. This is not a bad ship. And it has depth charges on the back just for uh, looks, and that's a lot of depth charges, actually. <clears throat> that's an awful lot of depth charges. I'm still glad there are no subs in this game. I'm really glad there's not. But yeah, this is closed beta, not open beta currently. <clears throat> if the Maya Jingles is to be believed. <coughs> now, <coughs> <coughs> sorry. I have a Russian ship. The Kremyeshki. Yeah, this ship, it's those guns. And the, it has some torpedoes, but it, those guns. And, yeah, I have a captain, and he looks... Definitely Russian. That's a Romanov. Why does that name sound familiar? Oh. Well, <clears throat> I have a Katori. Which is nice. Not. It's the tier 1. I have this because I am trying to get the, uh... <clears throat> I'm trying to get the, uh, Destroyer. Because I already have a Chikuma. Which is the cruiser after the Katori. And it should be obvious, <coughs> but I, I, whoop, whoop, I hit the wrong one. Well, well, but yeah, it should be obvious I have the Yabari because I have the Sims and the Grim Yashki. Yabari, those guns are good, but the anti air. The Grim Yashki is about its artillery. The Yabari is the anti air. I mean, look, there's four there, there's four more in the front. There's <clears throat> some doubles there, doubles and triples, plus this 120 millimeter flat gun on the front, because it's dual purpose. <clears throat> and is that is that a PT boat? <clears throat> I mean, those are the escape units, but look at that. That one is different. <clears throat> okay, that's awesome. Too bad you can't use them. But I do have another ship. Is now, if you've noticed, it's the only ship I don't have the t the daily double on. It's the Kawachi battleship. Look at those guns! Wow. Now, if you notice, let's take a look at the artillery here. Main battery, 305 millimeter. You have six of them. There's one. There's two. Oh, six times two. Okay. There, that one there, that one there. There's obviously the one in the front and the other side. Now, secondary armament, we have four one uh, 80 millimeters. There's one. There's one on the other side in the same spot. Okay. There's one there. Okay. And there's one, come on, <clears throat> the other side. Okay. Now, 120 millimeter armament, we have eight of them. There's one. There's one. There's one. Hmm, what's that doing down there? 
Go on the other side. There's that up there. There's that there. Where are the other two? Well, there's one. And there's one on the other side. Huh. And these are 120 millimeter guns. Wow. But they're also 10 152 millimeters. Like the KV-2, only not derp. There's one. Two. Three. Four. And five. And of course the same on the other side. So... Quite the heavily armored ship. I mean, armed and armored, really. <clears throat> but yeah, so there's a there's one of the 120s. There's 120. There's 120. And way back there's 120. You have the 152s here. And then you have there, there, and the other side the 80 millimeters, which I'm guessing are dual purpose. And then 305 millimeter primary batteries. You have a lot of them. This is, so, this is gonna hurt. Now, if you noticed, I have another ship. And it's actually bigger than the Koachi. Yeah, it's the Atlanta. There are a total of eight dual-purpose 5-inch gun turrets. There's one on the other side. And the aircraft guns is actually an awful lot. Besides the fact of it having dual purpose with the main guns. You have Orlikans. Eight of them. Throughout. There's two of them. Those are 20 millimeter guns that are amazingly powerful. It looks like there's depth charges on the back of this thing as well. <coughs> And yeah, there's a couple hiding there. All right, and then there's 28 millimeters. These are quad guns. Look at that. There's one there. There's one in the back there. One in the far back. Yes, yeah, this has depth charges, absolutely. And that's the same one. And that's the other one we just saw. There it is. Yep. Now we have. Uh, eight dual 127 millimeters well these are the main guns yep because remember on the Atlanta the main guns serve as dual purpose guns and yeah 127 millimeter in case you're wondering what a five inch gun is because these are five inch guns we are like well hold on a second Torpedoes? Yep. This thing has torpedoes. It doesn't have many. But right behind right in front of rather the five inch guns that's on the side, you have torpedoes. See one of them there. And of course obviously the other side. This thing has lots of depth charges and uh well rails to get stuff around it. But yeah, there's the five inch guns and there's the torpedoes. The Atlanta is a great ship. I was playing this in um Battle Stations, Midway and Battle Stations Pacific, and it was a great ship. But it didn't have torpedoes. <coughs> now I don't know how to activate the uh secondary batteries, turning them into an aircraft, but there is the button of uh, pressing T, I believe, when you're driving the ship. That's at least that's what I remember. And Anything that goes with uh, T. Oh yeah, it's just consumable. But yeah, taking a look at the controls is useful. If 
But yes, so, World of Warships, and the only ship I don't have my daily times 2 in, or the 1.5, is the Kawachi. Now, this is the closed beta test, which means all my progress and everything will be gone when they go to open beta. So, do you think I care? Right now, there's 1,468 players online. Yeah, CBTNA, closed beta test North America. That's how you know. And I'm already almost to tier 6. Now, whenever I'm taking a ship, which this is what I recommend for everybody who plays this game, whenever you uh, take a ship out for the very first game time, take it into a co-op battle. Or take it out into a co-op battle for your first win. You're like, well, but you get far more experience in random battles. Yes. And far more credits in random battles. Yes. But do you know how to work your ship? And do you have any... Oh, I don't know. Upgrades. You know, there's several upgrades that could be rather useful. Do you have any of those? No? Didn't think so. You should try to get a first win in the co-op without being garbage. That way you can go into the random battles with a bit more. You know, you're just a little not as garbage. It's just a something small, but it helps. And of course the Kawachi leads to the... Uh, whatever the next one is, which leads to the Congo. Now the Congo is going to be a ship that I'm going to be keeping. I just need to find an American cruiser to keep, well, to put the commander in for the Atlanta switching out. I'm thinking a Cleveland. But, yeah, so, World of Warships, closed beta test. You want to get into a closed beta? You buy a pre-order pack. Yeah, the Sims, remember the pre-order ship Sims? It's about the five-inch guns. We're gonna Yashki, it's about those giant guns. The Yubari, it's more like, it's more of the any aircraft. Oh, no slots available. Okay, that's good to know. But yeah, Yubari, it's about the end of the year. Alright, bye-bye.